Hi everyone, it's Martin from Pymax. This is the first episode of a new series of videos all about the Pymax Crystal. This video and all the upcoming ones will present and explain the most important features, key components and unique aspects that I personally think makes Crystal headset to stand out. In this video, I want to take a brief dive into something that's obviously one of the selling points of Crystal, the optical image clarity. There's no question about it, what Pimax has achieved with the clarity in this generation of VR is quite unique. A pair of custom-designed aspheric lenses developed in-house combined with dual ultra-high resolution QLED panels is a great recipe for next-generation high-end VR, that's for sure. Not to mention the built-in Tobii eye tracking that further adds into the equation. Which is another important feature, although I will save the eye tracking and QLAD panel technology deep dive for the upcoming episodes. Today let's focus on the lenses. Now most VR headsets today utilize either Fresnel lenses or Pancake lenses while Pimax uses a spheric lenses that in fact offers a far superior VR experience. One of the biggest advantages of aspheric lenses is the ability to provide a clear and extremely sharp image across the entire field of view. This is particularly important in VR, where immersion is the key, of course. Imagine being in VR in a flight simulator. With aspheric lenses, you can read every dial on your cockpit dashboard with perfect clarity, while you also spot extreme details at distance looking outside over the horizon. But how is it possible to achieve? Well, from a technical perspective, without going too deep into the topic and boring you out, Aspheric lenses can focus light more accurately from the high-resolution displays because they correct the spherical aberration. This means that light rays that pass through the lenses are directed to meet precisely at the single point of focus, creating a sharper image for your eyes. Aspheric lenses are also engineered to correct optical flaws such as distortions, particularly spherical aberration and chromatic aberration. They achieve this through their unique surface curvature of the glass. Well, optics is all about precision, and in VR it's more important than ever. Traditional spherical lenses can cause spherical aberration where light rays converge at different points of the focal plane, leading to a blurry image, especially outside of the center view. Aspheric lenses, on the other hand, tackle this by ensuring that all light rays converge more precisely across the entire view, creating sharp and focused visuals all the way to the edges. Have you ever noticed rainbow-like fringes around objects in your VR headset? Well, that's chromatic aberration. A spheric lens design also helps to minimize this by bending different wavelengths of light more uniformly, enhancing color fidelity and image clarity. These are a few of many reasons why Pimax went for glass lenses instead of plastic lenses. The main goal for Pimax was to achieve the best image possible with the crystal. Therefore, the decision was made to use aspheric lenses with a single glass lens element and avoiding plastic lenses or pancake lenses. First off, the pancake lens material is relatively soft and easily scratched. Especially for VR users wearing prescription glasses, this is a very important factor because the hard surface of their prescription glasses can easily lead to scratches on the plastic lens or resin lens. In comparison, glass lenses in general have a much higher density and a harder surface. This means aspheric lenses, which are made out of glass of course, have a significantly better lifespan since they are way harder to scratch. Furthermore, when light passes through a lens, it passes through multiple obstacles. During this process, some light is blocked and cannot leave the lens. This reduces the brightness of the light and changes its color. This actually applies to all lenses, but the amount of light loss can vary a lot depending on what lens is used. 
unlike a spheric lenses, a pancake lens used in most of the other VR headsets is actually a collection of lens elements and film layers tightly packed together. These elements are meant to reflect the light path between the layers over and over again. That results in the fact that the pancake lens bounces the light internally multiple times before the light exits the lens. Now this kind of folded optical path has an obvious defect and that is that the efficiency for light utilization is much lower making it difficult, if not impossible, to create a VR image clean of ghosting, glare or so-called god rays which I will explain in a moment. And due to the fact that not all the light will pass through the multiple stacked layers of a pancake lens, this will inevitably cause big losses of light being transferred to the final destination, which in this case is your eyes. It is proven that a pancake lens will block the light approximately 90% more than the aspheric lens. That also means to achieve the same image brightness of what a spheric lens can deliver, the panel used must be nearly twice as bright when using pancake lenses. And with those pancake lenses, the loss of details is greater and the color accuracy is noticeably worse. Meanwhile, optical glass lenses, such as the aspheric lenses, offer a light pass-through of about 99% of the incoming light, making it possible to achieve a very high PPD value, which stands for the amount of pixels per degree visible in your VR headset. As a result, aspheric lenses allow not only for a significantly sharper and detailed image with close to perfect color accuracy, but also a noticeably brighter VR image compared to pancake lenses. And it is proven that the brighter image does in fact create a perception of an additional sharpness and clarity. In other words, our eyes perceive a sharp image even sharper if enough of light is applied and the image is bright enough. Now, while we are at it, let's talk more about the advantages. Thanks to more precision in the lens manufacturing process, plus the sophisticated glass layers of aspheric lenses, distorted edges in peripherals becomes the things of the past. They simply offer a more natural, distortion-free image and that also without too much of software correction being required with distortion profiles when rendering the VR image on the flat panel displays. So you can say goodbye to most of the barrel distortion or pincushion distortion in the peripheral view as well. Additionally, aspheric lenses tend to produce significantly less glare or so-called god rays in VR. God rays and glare is often referred to a bloom effect or a light reflection on the lens being seen dancing around bright objects, especially in dark environments. In contrast, Fresnel and pancake lenses in general do introduce more glare and god rays due to their optical preferences, lens design and the way they handle the light. Compared to pancake lenses, the aspherical lens optical properties also do allow for possibly higher or wider field of view in VR. This is something Pimax is currently taking advantage of even further by soon releasing an additional pair of lenses for Pimax Crystal with a wider field of view, mainly on the horizontal side. While Crystal's standard 35 ppd or pixels per degree lenses offer an effective horizontal field of view of around 105 degrees, the upcoming Crystal wide field of view lenses potentially adds another 10 or 15 degrees on the horizontal plane without noticeably affecting the image quality or clarity. Changing lenses or using different lenses on the Pimax Crystal is all thanks to one specific unique feature. The fact that the lenses are easily detachable, interchangeable and replaceable. Unscrew the tiny screw and simply pull out the lens including the frame around it to remove and replace the lens. Thanks to the electronic connectors, Crystal software will automatically determine what lens is inserted and it will instantly apply the correct lens profile for the type of lens used. And don't worry about dust, there's also a protective glass layer between the lens and the QLAD panels, so they prevent the dust and particles to get stuck on the panel itself. 
Replacing the lens takes a few seconds only and can be done by any user without voiding the warranty, simply because it is a feature of Crystal. And of course, since Crystal is equipped with Tobii eye tracking, automatic IPD detection and motorized automatic IPD adjustment is fully integrated. This makes sure that you always end up using the headset with properly set distance between the two aspheric lenses, according to the distance between your eyes. You can of course set the IPD manually with buttons, but again, there is no need to fiddle around with IPD adjustment ever again. And well, I know I'm getting out of topic now, so let's get back and focus on the lenses again. Just like everything else in life, nothing is perfect and aspheric lenses comes with their own set of challenges. To be fair, achieving the high level of precision in lens manufacturing is significantly more expensive, a fact that unfortunately do contribute to a higher price of the VR headset itself for the end user like you and me. It might not come as a surprise that high-end technology and next-gen VR hardware is more expensive than most mainstream alternatives, and the Pimax Crystal is not an exception. It is expensive, and because of that, it may be often more attractive or even reasonable for high-end VR users, professionals or VR enthusiasts rather than the casual VR gamer. While pancake lenses in VR headsets use optical properties to make the total length of the optical path shorter, in other words, a shorter distance between the lenses and the panel displays, the aspheric lenses, on the other hand, requires a longer path due to the non-spherical shape, including the optical factors. Therefore, this will require a bigger housing to fit the lens and the panel construction altogether resulting in a physically larger VR headset that may affect comfort or visual aesthetics. Furthermore, Fresnel lenses as well as pancake lenses can be made thinner and lighter than aspheric lenses. The added weight of the thicker aspheric lenses glass will result in not only a larger but also a slightly front heavier VR headset, which could impact the headset's weight distribution. And therefore, Pimax have been doing quite some work during the development of Crystal to balance out the front weight and improve the general comfort. All right, I know, we went pretty deep into this topic and I know it might not explain everything and practically it might not say much at all. I mean, it does sound great in theory, right? But what are the actual perceived results in VR by going from, for example, the Fresnel lenses we used in the previous generation of Pimax VR headsets? And what are the true benefits achieved by skipping the recent trend of using pancake lenses for all other headsets and instead going with a spheric lens design when developing the Pimax Crystal? Well, it's quite simple. Crystal clarity. The VR headset that I will talk about today has possibly the clearest and sharpest image that you can find in a consumer-grade virtual reality headset. Now, the visual quality is the best visuals I've ever seen in a VR headset. These things are amazing looking. I'm really impressed. So the lenses are really clear, I, crystal clear like the name says. Wow, the clarity is, is so 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 amazing yeah this looks truly truly incredible those lenses it's it's great edge to edge clarity it's beautiful colors wow this is a amazing display it looks absolutely beautiful in this thing so crystal clear pardon the pun those colors really pop out even on the menu there uh this has been the best experience I've ever had. And I think that, that a lot of that has to do with that clarity uh, that you get from the crystal and the ability to read those small gauges. I have never seen anything that looks this crystal, pun completely intended clear in VR. As I said in the beginning of this video, there's no question and no doubts about it. The clarity of the Pimax crystal is simply crystal clear. It's sharper and more immersive than anything I've seen in the past while experiencing VR. And this is clearly not just my opinion. 
but the opinion of every single person and VR enthusiast I have seen and met in person the past year when traveling around with Pimax trying the crystal headset on road shows, trade shows such as CES and VR Days, well, including content creators that share their own impressions and reviews on social media such as YouTube. Honestly speaking, recording the so-called through the lens videos which you can find on YouTube where you can see through the lens of, for example, the Pimax Crystal, it's quite a popular trend right now, right? But if you ask me, it will never do justice to the clarity the aspheric lenses deliver. Many have tried capturing these with 4K cameras or even high resolution cameras, including myself, but I have yet today not seen a video even coming close to demonstrating the true clarity of these aspherical lenses. It must be seen with your own eyes, that's the thing. Well, I don't know if you remember, but back in the early days, I did a video about how you can replace the HTC Vive lenses with some cheap Gear VR glass lenses. The result in improved clarity and image sharpness were shockingly good, and I bet I convinced the majority of the Vive community to do the same replacement. Because we all agreed that the difference back then, it was like night and day. And today, I can tell you, I feel the same when going to the Pimax Crystal. It's night and day. As of today, Crystal's clarity is becoming the benchmark of today's high-end VR standard, which hopefully one day also will be applied to mainstream VR headsets. Crystal clarity might not be the most affordable option today, of course, if you want to enjoy close to perfect virtual reality, but at least it's here now and fully available to every enthusiast who values the highest possible image quality and optical clarity in VR. And all this is not exclusively, but mainly thanks to the choice of using custom designed aspheric lenses, which Pimax knew from start would be the key. Now, of course, a VR headset is way more than just a pair of glass lenses, right? There are many other components which makes the Pimax Crystal in this case so unique. Components that, when carefully combined, offers the amazing and high-end VR experience we all waited for already eight years ago, I think, at the time when VR suddenly became a thing. And for that reason, I will gradually go through the other components and other crystal features in the upcoming videos, also explaining why I'm personally so enthusiastic about it. Until then, if you already have a crystal or at least have the chance to try it at some point, let us know in the comments what you think of it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.